Good morning! Welcome back to a new vlog. It's a rare day I come on the vlog looking presentable. I had blown out my hair yesterday, the day before, and I went to the gym this morning. I just finished the last vlog a few hours ago, so we're just keeping it moving. I'm so excited. I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. Say goodbye to the roots. So yeah, we already worked out, showered, and I'm filming like a little foundation review like the old days. I'm gonna put it on Instagram and TikTok and just like short form vibes. So if you wanna see that, head over there, but it's really good. It's really good. Definitely go watch it. We'll see how it wears, but so far I love it. So yeah, on the agenda today, it's Monday. We had our friends giving yesterday. Check out that vlog, it's already up. We had some special guests from Curvy Connection and it was so, so great to see those girlies. So I am going to scoot on over to Target. We need dog food plastic little Ziploc baggies, oat milk. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I know there's more stuff that I don't remember. I was gonna do like a full grocery order, but I have enough. Uh, I'm gonna try to push grocery shopping for a few days. <laughs> and then I have a big old Amazon Christmas haul to show you guys. I'll do that when I get home. But yeah, it's gonna be a fun vlog. So let's just do a quick little Target run. All right, I'm back from my quick little Target run. I just got some slider bags and I needed new car lotion. I keep a hand lotion in the car because my hands are always dry. Um, this is the one I usually get, like a gold bond one, but then I ended up also grabbing this candy cane one because I love peppermint. So I'm gonna use this one first and then this one when it runs out. Pretty much every time I get in the car, I put on hand lotion. And then you probably saw in the montage, I got this $5 little mug. I got it for my mom because she's been wanting a Christmas mug. So I just thought it was cute because, you know, we call her Mama Fearless. So Mama Claus. And then I got the oat milk. And they didn't have any big bags of the Fresh Pet that Bruno has. So I got a few logs of the small ones. And then also a small bag. So, I mean, this should last for a little bit. And then I was out of my pickled jalapenos, my fave. I put that on everything. And then I did a quick little peruse doodle in the Christmas section again, and Wonder Shop was 30% off. So I thought this was really pretty and I need a centerpiece when these are gone for this round table. Um because I have nothing for it. This was $20, but then the 30% off it was 12. So I thought it was a really good price. It's just like this tin little uh, pitcher, pitcher slash watering can. <laughs> but it's got like frosted little branches and berries. I think it looks really cute. It's kind of like, like I could see this selling from hearth and hand for like double the price. It's like kind of lightweight, but like who cares? No one's gonna lift it up. So 30% off, not too shabby for 12 bucks. It's a good size, it's cute. So, and I have, you know, the berries around the kitchen. So I think it'll look really good here when my flowers run out. So that's my little check-in. Target was really busy. I think people have this Monday off from Veterans Day. I thought people had Friday off, but I think they had today off because it was really busy. Like I hardly vlogged in there because I was like, <laughs> I was overwhelmed. Okay, so I put everything away. I'm going to dive in to the Amazon Christmas haul. You guys know I love finding good Amazon finds in general, and Christmas is my favorite time of year, so it just goes hand in hand. Okay, I'm just gonna dive right in. I've got it all right here. Um, The way that I added this to my cart as quickly as I possibly could, it says it's time with Mariah. She has thawed. It's time, you gotta grab it. You gotta grab it. Honestly, for those people who don't do Christmas till after Thanksgiving, like I want you to get this and just like wear it the day after Thanksgiving. So I am obsessed. Okay, going with clothes, I found this really, really cute set and it went up to XXL and it looks really solid. It's just like a little lounge set. So yeah, it's definitely solid. It's like cropped, boxy fit, perfect for lounging. And it is such, a soft fabric. And here are the matching shorts. It's like knit, super soft. I love the quality of it. I will definitely like lounge around the house in this because these are like booty shorts. 
but I love the fabric of this and it's so cute and you can wear it past Christmas too because it is just red snowflakes. Okay, I cannot wait to open this. This is like giving such pottery barn energy. So it's a velvet plush throw blanket and I got it in the twin size. So it's 66 by 90. So you're gonna get that oversized throw fit situation. So if you're ever looking for like your blanket to be oversized, go with like twin because it's like twin bed, but then it's just perfect for lounging on the couch, especially if you're also a tall girly. I think this is so friggin' cute. This is 1000% giving Pottery Barn. Like with all this cute detail, oh, it's huge. <gasps> I can't wait to curl up with this. And it's all red and green. It says just so much cute little stuff. It, I'm sorry. I'm obsessed with this. So cute. We've got sleigh bells, pine cones, ornaments. Oh, so cute. And then like a bunch of little sayings. And it is super soft because it's plush. I'm going to wash this and curl up with it later. I watched, um, what did I watch last night? Deck the Halls. I didn't finish it when I was cleaning and I ended up just starting it over. I have to watch Christmas with the Cranks again because I didn't watch it as much as I wanted to while I was decorating and it's my fave. Oh my God. <laughs> Bruno, this is for you. You guys, I got this for the dog. So it's a dog sweater. And when you put it on them, it looks like Santa's riding on their back. Look at it. And it's got reindeer ears, so it makes your dog look like a little, um, a little reindeer. <laughs> look at the Santa. Oh my God. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh my God, I'll put this on you after we finish the haul. And of course everything will be linked, um, but I'm dying. And then just for like the day to day and going on walks, I got him a Christmassy harness cause the one from last year is like a little bit small cause he's full grown now. So we got um, just like this cute Christmas plaid. Um, so love that. And I didn't know it came with a, a leash and a, a matching collar with a little sleigh bell. I didn't know that, I thought it was just a harness. So this is a really good deal. Okay, I also really needed earmuffs. So these had really good reviews. They are super soft, wow. <gasps> Ooh, these are cozy. Cause walking the dog, I have had <laughs> sunglasses on my head. Walking the dog lately has been getting really cold on my ears. Oh, these are cute. <laughs> okay, these are big head friendly. <laughs> got a big head like me and I got just like the tan it'll blend with like makeup um, and then inside it's wicked squishy and yeah they're just super soft and they fold up nicely for travel and they were a really good price um, I love this kitchen towel I love putting out like a pretty tea towel on the oven I know I'm not the only one who must like have a towel for like drying your hands and then like a pretty towel that just like goes on the stove but look at this tea towel. This is also kind of giving like, this is giving anthropology, okay? <laughs> this is definitely giving anthropology. They have so many cute tea towels like this. Okay, I love this. This is so cute. It's like a nice linen-y fabric. And I love the different colors on here. Like so freaking cute for the stove. Okay, and then we know I love a straw with my morning coffee. So I got these reusable straws. I don't know how many come in this pack. 24, I'll definitely have to give some away. It comes with two cleaners as well. I got these holiday straws, which I will 1000% like reuse and reuse and reuse. I love them for my morning coffee and they're festive. So they're red and green. Um, this would be great too if you wanna grab the pack and like give them to friends and family for the holidays and who doesn't love a good reusable straw. Okay, up next, I found this and like lost my mind. And I don't really use mugs often because I drink iced coffee, but I'm gonna give it to Yar. Oh, it's so cute in person. This is also giving anthropology. So this mug is an upside down Christmas tree. It's like a double glass mug. Can you see the Christmas tree inside? It has like a star and everything. It has stars on, the, um, no, not stars. Snowflakes that are gold and silver on the outside. And then inside is the tree upside down with like a literal, a literal star. It's so, so cute. Like make yourself your cocoa, your tea, 
and it's i don't know i just think that is everything and it was like super affordable <gasps> wait what it comes with more oh my god oh it comes with this like rubbery non-slip situation so it won't slide around and it looks like snow and then it also comes with okay you guys got to get this oh my god or for a holiday gift uh it comes with this brass spoon that has a little wreath on it oh my gosh and then it also comes with this coaster are you kidding this was the deal of the century okay so i'm pretty candled up right now so i got just a tiny one of these because they're pricey but they are phenomenal the times fraser fur um i just went ahead and got the small one these smell incredible they really fill the room like the second even the box it just smells so good so i got this cute little one just to have and to light um mm, this is like one of the best Christmas tree scented candles. They have bigger ones too, but if you wanna just like try it first to see if you like it, since they are a little pricey, just get this little one, you know, and see if you like it. Cause like it does fill a room. Um, mm, so good. Okay, and then I found another anthropology vibe. It's like anthropology meets party. These wine glasses are so cute. So I got this, it has a blinged out santa hat on it it's 3d so it sticks out it's so adorable like have a little christmas wine night with your girls i would even drink my morning coffee out of this um i'm gonna keep it just for my morning coffee i, I don't really drink wine but so cute so cute i'm obsessed okay and then another pottery barn dupe i was so excited to find this sherpa candy cane it is so beautiful like i am obsessed it's so soft it's so plush so yeah it does like curl in it almost looks like a, a pea but i think because it was like curled up when it was shipped so i think it's gonna loosen up like a bit like this but just be warned <laughs> but if your last name starts with p it's extra festive or a d maybe a q you could do all sorts of things but it's yeah you know how they have like the viral sherpa pillows so amen we found one that's cheaper okay and then you guys know i love i love holiday cups if it's not obvious and i have my stanley with me everywhere like i'm always drinking water so this is going to be my new stanley replacement through the holiday season this is from a brand called swig and i love that it has the rubber straw topper but this is so cute i cannot wait to wash this keeps cold for 24 plus hours hot for nine plus hours so if you're a hot drink cold drink person triple insulated technology it's dishwasher safe non-slip silicone base comfort grip handle and it's just it's so cute so the base of it is i don't know if you can tell but it's like um kind of glit yeah it's glittery glittery green um and then it just has all these beautiful ornaments on it i love it i think it's so cute so i'll be drinking my water out of here now people okay and then i have a dish drying mat next to the sink for stuff that can't go in the dishwasher the one i have now is kind of it looks a little fallish it has like orange and blue so naturally i had to get a christmas one so i got this one it just is it matches the theme of my kitchen which is like greenery and green and red greenery and then like holly berries cranberries so this could not match more perfectly it just says holly jolly and then it has like literally exactly that like pine branches berries it matches perfectly and then also has this to hang up and dry um and i just i like having everything festive so uh, i'll swap that out until Christmas is over. Okay, and then for a little bonus here, we are gonna do some Amazon outerwear finds slash like cozy finds, and I shall try them on for you. Okay, so our first find is this teddy coat, but I love the neon green accents. So it's got a little zip pocket right here, and then around the hems. I got my true size. I think I'm gonna exchange it for like two sizes bigger. I, I just, I like this over like super oversized it's more of a true fit um but i just think it's so cute it's super soft like even the zipper is lime green so it's it's really cute okay so this one is giving lululemon dupe vibes it's got the little 
thumb hole and I did size up on this one and I got the 3x and it's so cozy and oversized this is kind of a similar color but it's like a muted lime green it's got a little pocket in the front and it's like a sherpa cozy fabric it has a hood and of course they have different colors in all of these but I don't know I love the look of this it doesn't match my leggings right now but with like some black leggings and your Uggs um, it's just super super cute and it's actually it's giving Grinch. Okay, you guys, I am actually so obsessed with this coat here. So it has clips if you want to like shut the pockets. But the cool thing is about this puffer, it has a cinching in the middle. So it gives you like shape if you don't want the kind of coat that's like giving Michelin man if you want shape. So this is so cute. So it's internal and you can tighten the cinching and it will kind of give you the shape right here but i love the hot pink it is so so cute and it has a nice hood it has um i don't know what these are called just these little cuffs underneath i think this is so cute why do i love this so much because i think i like that it has the shape i don't usually mind looking like a michelin man though i really don't but i do like the option of if you want to have shape or you can loosen these and it has also the drawstrings at the bottom so you could wear it more classic puffer michelin man vibe undo this tighten this and then it will look like a normal puffer so you have that dual action option so this one runs true to size so many colors great winter coat okay now if you live somewhere cold like i do in like new england or wherever you know how essential it is to have a long line puffer i don't have one that comes this low right now it comes like below the knee and i'm five seven and a half for reference and i went with this color in case i get like makeup on it so hoping it blends in they did have a lot of other color choices and it's just like the quintessential perfect long line puffer it does have a hood as well zips up high it has snap pockets if you need it it's a good staple it's a good price because you know we got to stay warm out here and then lastly i'm like a sucker for a cute sweater so anytime i find a cute one i'm like i have to show them so i got this really pretty sweater that has color blocking so a different color in the front and back but like same color on the back i think right as this yeah so cute and it's in the xxl it's got room it's super like lightweight and then it also has a slight balloon sleeve which i love but it's not like super thick. So if you're also hot like me, this is a lightweight, airy kind of feeling sweater. So it's super duper comfy. So that's my Christmas slash winter haul. <laughs> so I will link everything down below in order. Um, and yeah. Look at this. <laughs> you look so cute, my little reindeer. <laughs> Is Santa on your back? Are you riding around Santa? Is Santa on your back? Wow, you're a little reindeer, huh? I'm gonna walk over here. Let's take Santa on a ride. Come on, come. Oh, <laughs> wow. You're just taking Santa on a ride. You are such a good boy. The large is a little bit big, but. <laughs> It's so cute. Many hours later. Okay, you guys, I am making us plates of uh, leftovers for dinner. So here's yours. I'm gonna throw this in the microwave. Um, and then, guys, I'm telling you, I was so mad. I forgot I had cranberry sauce. I had like pre taken it out of the jars and put it in the fridge in like a nice bowl. And then I found it at the end of the night. So. A little salty about that but yeah this is gonna be yars plate i'm gonna have some of fatima's amazing buffalo dip oh and you guys i forgot to show this i'm so excited about this little elf gift wrapping made easy because i hate wrapping gifts i'm really just not good at it okay well i don't i don't hate wrapping gifts i'm just not good at it so i've seen these go around on tiktok i think this is the original brand of them there's like a bunch of other ones but this is Little Elf. I want to say this one's better. So you can see the directions here. You put it around the tube of wrapping paper and they sell it in a two pack so you can give one to like, you know, your mom or something. Um, put it around the, the wrapping paper goes in here and then it has a little blade right here and it just, you just glide it along the wrapping paper and it gives you a perfect cut. 
So how great is this? <laughs> it's gonna be so amazing for wrapping this year. Um, because there's nothing worse than when you're like gliding the scissors and it's like grow, 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 and it gets all messy. So um, I don't know. I just thought this was a really like cool find. Good morning from me and my toast. Look at this beaut. Beaut. It's going to be a good day because my avocado was perfectly ripe. So mm -hmm. happy Tuesday. If you haven't tried this yet, avocado, season it with salt and pepper, red pepper flakes and honey. Mm. Spicy and sweet. So good. So I'm going to eat this, let it sit for a little bit, and then we're going to make a coffee because it's hair day. Say goodbye to these roots. I do love a little bit of a root, but like they're pretty long. They're definitely over an inch. So I'm excited to freshen up. Okay, it's been a little bit, but I made my coffee and I did my new little Amazon cup. I just love like the bling Santa hat. I think it's really fun. So no matter what cute cup you use, your coffee will always taste better. So my hair appointment's at 10. It's like eight something. So I'm gonna just go get ready because I'm not gonna sit in that chair and look like a naked mole rat. I simply refuse. Also before Yar went to work, he used the cute new cup. And then I like, I just washed it and put it up here. And it looks like so cute just sitting there at the coffee bar. I kind of love it. Oh, and I put out my Holly Jolly mat. Got some stuff drying on it. And then I also got more candy canes to fill this up all the way. We have um, so much leftover pie. I gotta see if anyone wants this blueberry pie. <laughs> I don't want it to go to waste. Someone had a slice, but we, had, we just had so much food at the Friendsgiving. And we have a couple cookies left over too, so gotta figure that out. Okay, so I just did a little bit of makeup and I just got a call from the salon that the one I was gonna see has, um, her son is sick, so I'm gonna see a different person at 11.15. So now I have a little bit of time to like get some work done, but I was like rushing through my makeup, so um, I'm kind of glad I can like take a, take, take a breather. Um, I actually also have a couple of returns that I have to drop off, so I could probably just head out now anyway and go get some stuff done. But the next time you see me, these roots will be rooted blonde. <laughs> well, <laughs> this just happened. <laughs> so I just got my hair done and I kid you not, I was driving there with 1,000% the intention of just doing my roots. And then all of a sudden I had a moment where I was like, let's just chop it. <laughs> you guys know I recently went and got a bunch of <laughs> layers and angles put in and I really liked how it looked, but I have just been fighting this urge to chop. I've been saying it, I've been fighting the urge and it's nothing new. I chop my hair every couple of years. Um, but I didn't go as short as I normally go. It's like right to about collarbone. And I still have some of my angling from when I got it cut the last time, but I love it. It feels great. I couldn't fight the urge anymore. I really wanted to get it down here. But one thing I'll say about me too is I will wear my hair down more when it's short. I just like, honestly, I love my hair short. That's why I always grow it and cut it and grow it and cut it and grow it and cut it. Cause like, I love myself with a bob. So I'd say this is more of like a lob cause I've cut it shorter before. Maybe it's still a bob, it's not that short. I mean, not that long, but this is the new hair. I am just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm an emotional person and I was just like oh, reflecting on some of the hard stuff from this year. And it just kind of like we're at the end of 2023 and it just felt very, transformative <laughs> spiritually and metaphorically to cut off the hair. I cut off like definitely more than like six inches, um, but it just felt like, I don't know, a release of the hard stuff of this year. And like, we're starting fresh going into 2024, manifesting a great year for 2024. I usually like prefer this length with like some loose waves, but I just had her blow dry it straight. And then we touched up the roots a nice, fresh, cool tone blonde. I love doing like a little side flip and then tucking this ear. So if this, if you've been thinking about chopping your hair, this is your sign. Oh, you wanna know the funniest part? I didn't tell anyone. <laughs> Cause I genuinely decided on the way there. And I was like, do you have time to chop it? 
And she's like, yes. And then actually made the coloring super easy because it's, it's just easier when it's short and my hair is so thick. So we did just like a blunt cut all the way around and then she went through and like thinned out the ends because my hair is really, really thick. Otherwise it's kind of just like a little harder to manage. Um, so she like, you know, did a little texturization on the ends. Oh, and my, my cartilage hoop came out when she was brushing. I'm gonna have to go put this in in the mirror. I never take this out, but yeah. That's it, you guys. Also, this is from Skims and it is so soft. It's like wearing a blanket. I just put it on when I got home because my shirt was really wet, but yeah. I was gonna like touch up my makeup before I showed you, but yeah, <laughs> I'm getting too comfortable with you guys, but I love it. Hopefully you guys love it too. I can't wait to like wear it in like a short pony tomorrow when I go to the gym. It's just so fun. I love short hair. I really do. Good morning, you guys. It's the next day. It's a cold one with her short little pony. I love my short little pony. It's a crisp 41 degrees today. My car tripod sucks. Should probably get a better one. Oi. Hello. Anywho, we're off to the gym. 111 on my gas tank. I have seen 111 like a million times in the last two, three days. <gasps> wow. It's like, a, it's like a lot. <gasps> and like, I, please tell me if you guys have like a reliable source for angel number meanings because like I google it and like there's a million different websites that say different things like I just overall I believe that like seeing angel numbers in any form just means like letting you know that like God's with you everything's Gucci <laughs> you know but like I've seen 111 so much lately like usually I see a lot of angel numbers in general but like the fact that I've seen consistent the same one the 111 so much lately like let me know if you have a website that you specifically rely on for angel number meanings i'm having a tiny alani i love these 100 milligram ones they're perfect so because sometimes i have like the full size and i don't finish it but anyway um today i'm gonna go to the gym leg day wednesday and our christmas tree for the living room came in so i don't know if i'm gonna do that in the next vlog or not um, cause I don't know how much footage I have. I need to edit the vlog you're watching, but let's go have a good leg day people. Okay, you guys, I just finished at the gym and then I just went and got this nail fix. Cause not only with the whole Turkey fiasco, when it didn't fit, I broke my middle finger nail off at the same time. And it, oh my gosh, it was so stressful, but, um, it's been broken for a few days and it was driving me nuts and it's not time for like a fill yet. So I just went and I love my salon cause I always just fix broken nails for free. So, um, they're like not super grown out. So this, this fresh nail doesn't look, uh, too wild, but oh my gosh, is there anything better than going and get, getting your broken nail fixed? Now we're going to run to the post office and then head home and shower. Hi, I just have a return. Thank you, have a good day. Well, you guys, back home. Here's my little fruit hack. If you wanna eat more fruit, wash it. I like my fruit room temp, so we just leave it on the counter all day. And then Yara and I just pick at it. These grapes are so good. And then you just kind of are more inclined to eat it because you see it, good temperature, yeah. Someone just had a baby. You're being such a good boy. Such a good boy. Okay, so I just gave the dog a bath and then I showered and I put on this new Buff Bunny set, but it's a little bit wrinkled. So I wanted to show you this thing that I use all the time. Basically just like a giant flat iron for your clothes. And like, it's just like the easiest way to iron. And like, it takes two seconds. So I'm just, I probably wouldn't recommend doing this with it on. <laughs> But I just have wrinkles right here. Bless you. And bam, just like that. Voila. I love this set. I'll show you guys in a second. I just got it. It's so soft. Imagine I just like straighten my hair with this. But this great holiday gift, I'll link it. It's called Nori. It's great for people who like want to iron, but like not with an ironing board. Quick, easy, travelable. It's the best. I'm heading over to my mom soon and she's gonna see my hair. All right, I am just doing some like really simple makeup. I put on my full base because that's what I like to do. For a minute I was rocking natural makeup, but we might go on date night tonight. 
because Yar got a gift card from my grandparents for his birthday a couple months ago. And it's to like a local restaurant near us. And I'm like, how did they get this? They live like an hour away. I'm like, and it's a real one too. It's not like a printout one. I'm like, did they drive here to get this? Because if so, I will simply cry. Because like I can see them doing that. <laughs> like my two little retired grandparents taking a drive with Max in the car. Because like Mimi, so like Max is kind of like low-key Mimi's emotional support animal. But like they are for each other. Like Max does not like to be without Mimi. Mimi does not like to be without Max. Like so if Mimi has to grocery shop, she has to take Max in the car and Max will only sit in the car with grandpa while Mimi grocery shops. Otherwise, if like, if she tries to leave Max at home with grandpa, well, these eyebrows came out really bad. Oh boy. Um, if she tries to leave Max at home with grandpa, he will bark the entire time, like the entire time even though he loves grandpa. So anytime they have to run errands, grandpa and Max have to sit in the car while Mimi goes in. But Mimi also does go to as many dog friendly stores as possible. But yeah, uh, I'm going, I can't, I shouldn't do anything while I do my eyebrows because it takes me so much focus. But <laughs> another good Christmas gift idea, I'm gonna do like, should I do a gift guide? I'll probably do a gift guide. The makeup brushes from Amazon. The dress up brushes would be such a good gift for the makeup lovers in your life because it's like genuinely an amazing makeup brush set. Great price and it would just be like the best gift. So I'll link those two. Um, but stay tuned for a holiday gift guide. But it's also kind of nice to just like sprinkle them throughout vlogs because when I'm using products I genuinely love, like this is from that kit. And these brushes are literally like such high quality and I've been using them now for a very long time so I know that the quality actually will last I hate a bad eyebrow day I really do oh my god like this one's like curved oh boy oh boy I'm just gonna I can't but anyway we might go on date night tonight this is also the ADHD where it's just like okay we might go on date night tonight <laughs> to the restaurant my grandparents got him the gift card to but we also just got our balsam hill christmas tree in the mail for the living room and like i am dying to get it up so i mean yar is working so we'll only have time to do one or the other he's working from home today though so it helps that he doesn't have like a long commute home like he'll actually be checking out at five so we could maybe do both i don't know it would be like the ultimate date night to go out to dinner and then come home and decorate the tree i just don't know if we'll have time for both but yar just ran to sweet green to get us both a salad for lunch so he'll be back soon and we'll eat our we'll eat our harvest bowls in harmony and then i need to run over to my mom's on her lunch break because we have a spare office chair um, that I'm going to bring over her because she started a new job working from home. So she's feeling it. She's feeling the pain of a crappy chair. So I was really glad that we had an extra one. She's literally sitting on like a wooden dining chair for eight plus hours a day. So I'm like, okay. Bruni and I are going to bring that over on her lunch break and the dogs can play for a little bit. So yeah, still freaking obsessed with the Tarte tubing mascara. Like one coat is just wild. I'm so impressed. Oh my gosh, I'll link this too. Sorry, I'm linking. I'm just linking all the good stuff today, but like, I don't think I'll ever buy another mascara. I will say it doesn't come off as easily as the Thrive. I thought it did. It's it, like, it can leave a little residue, but it does not flake or budge all day and it actually like stays lifted. Like if you spend time, like one coat does enough, but if you like spend time, you can just like poof, make it amazing. Okay, mascara is on, lip liner's on, and I have a pimple right here. So I put a fake beauty mark. I'm just gonna throw on some gloss because I'm about to eat a salad and it's gonna come off. Kicking it old school with a MAC lip gloss in the shade Please Me. Look at that mascara. I am so in love with it. And then I'm gonna show you guys my trick 
which I've shown before, but just in case you haven't seen it. So when your lashes are 99.9% .9 dry and you don't want to do it before then, look how icy my hair is. It's a little bit gray, a little bit gray. My hair takes toner really, really quick, but it will, it will fade. So yeah, when your lashes are like almost 100% dry, you're going to just take your finger and you're going to press them upward and it's gonna help to lift them so much. <laughs> like, <laughs> look at the difference. Look at, look at the difference, it's wild. It makes such a difference when you already have like a good mascara. It won't work if you wait until they're like so, so dry, but you don't wanna do it like when they're wet or it's just gonna get everywhere, but just gently push them up because they're still like a little bit malleable. Oh my God, such a difference. Woo. And like, if you have a good mascara that like has a good hold, so good. Okay, waiting for Yara to come back with the salad. I know, bud. I know, I know you want to see GRA, but we have to wait. She's not on her break yet. I... That's how it's going to be for the next like 10 minutes. He whines because he's excited to see grandma soon soon okay i didn't have time to eat before i had to leave so i was gonna eat lunch with my mom but she just said she's not on her break yet and i'm freaking starving um so i'm gonna start eating now oh, i know oh, i know and then i'll eat the rest with her upstairs but yummy car mukbang <laughs> i don't know what this vlog is I don't know what it is. Mm -mm -mm. I have her chair in the back. I think it'll help so much. My mom's poor back. Mmm. Harvest bowl. Mm. Good job you're not whining anymore. And you smell fresh and clean. You're gonna go have a good playtime. You're gonna be so tired this afternoon between your bath and your playtime. I like to get a bite with literally <laughs> everything on it. Okay, we've got grandma's chair waiting for the elevator. Ooh, so excited to see grandma. He's so good in the elevator. You are such a good boy. Who's excited? And we've got some bones for Cha-Cha. Oh, yay! Yay! Guys, look at my mom's current work chair. That's my work chair, guys. Girl. And I <laughs> honestly, I keep pushing them back in. They keep falling out whenever I scoop forward or backward. They need to be glued, <laughs> clearly. But like, I don't have time to glue that right now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and I got a couple of pillows. <laughs> one for my butt, one for my back. Making it work, but Girl. not really. Yeah. There you go. Much, much better. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, Cha-Cha. Best friends. Best friends. <laughs> so I brought some bones that Bruno doesn't care about. They're called Chunola from Busy Bone because they look like granola. Bruno could not care less about these at home. I bring them for Chach because she loves all, all bones. <laughs> and now all of a sudden he likes it and well, wants not even his own. The whole story, we give Chach all the bone. Yeah. Because we know Bruno doesn't care about them. Bruno takes it away from Chacho and Chacho. <laughs> Chacho. <laughs> and P.S. Bruno never does that. Never. Ever. She usually, takes his bones. Yes. So we're just thinking it's like sibling rivalry. Like, oh, I didn't want that bone. But now that you like that bone, I need that bone. Back. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. But thank God you had two. Then now they're both happy. Yeah. But they're just, they're both going to town. They're going at it. Running into Target very fast because I ran out of coffee cream. And I really want coffee in the morning tomorrow. I'm not taking a cart or even a basket. Yes. I just saw the Starbucks Christmas cup at the Starbucks in there and I had to fight with every fiber of my being not to buy it. Just got home and we got a new order in of Poppy. Like I bought this the second it was restocked on Amazon. So hopefully it's still restocked. I, like I said, I just grabbed it on Amazon. So it's quick delivery. I'll link it below. This is the best flavor. I'm going to miss this so much when it's gone. I'm going to try to stock up because Yara and I have been having one like every day. 
Um, so, you know, prebiotic soda, it's like healthy soda. Um, it's got like prebiotics, 25 calories a can, low sugar, but like the cranberry fizz is so good. They have other flavors I love too. Like I love the orange, the raspberry lime, but the cranberry fizz, I don't know, it's just doing something for me, especially for like the holiday season. So grab it on Amazon if you want to try it. I will link it. We're wrapping up this vlog by the Christmas tree. Um, I think we're going to do the tree in the next vlog. It's four o'clock now, so we'll do that tonight for like a little at-home date night. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I am LOLing at all of your comments because I finally posted it on Instagram that I cut my hair and everyone's like, so much for cut, keeping it past your boobs. Um, but you all knew it was coming. <laughs> and I was editing this vlog and I think I, or the last vlog or something, I don't know, I was talking about how like, I was loving my, I really was loving my last haircut, like genuinely loved, loved how it looked, but <laughs> can't fight the chop urge forever. So I love you guys and I'll see you again in a few days.